for this part of the meeting, uh, we ask all the teams to uh, give the results of the, uh, their own meetings. Uh, McFly will hand this, well, McFly will do this part, and I will make notes. Afterwards, uh, there might be some discussions. Uh, please, um, uh, there might be some discussions. Uh, please stay around to have those discussions with each other. Uh, we're also getting some food then. So, thanks. So yeah, it would be nice if uh, we'll see most of you for some socializing. And can you please turn this down a bit? Yeah, I... Okay. That's confusing uh, enough. Um, so, how were your meetings? Who didn't know what to do? Who didn't know what to do and did nothing in the last hour? That's kind of impressive. Okay. Um, the plan so far was that we uh, go down the teams and ask from like every team that had a discussion uh, to give a brief summary of the situation, uh, at least at the points where we have the teams. I will also use this to give this an update. Um, Stitch will write basically down that we can give an overview so all the people that have not been here today from the impressive list of roughly 150 people on the Orga mailing list. Um, we counted 60 earlier. I think we were roughly at 50 something. Um, so one of the reasons, by the way, as it was asked, why do we record this meeting is that we are able to give people who didn't make it here today uh, due to other time constraints to give them a chance to get the same overview of the auger. And for us as sanity, that is just the possibility, hey, you want to know what the status is? Watch this video before I give him a one-hour talk in the Jabba. So, yes. So we had teams, uh, we had the team meetings, and I would like to uh, ask all of the teams, or at least one from every team or how many area you want, to come up here and give a brief update about your team situation. And after that, uh, we will see if there are any open discussions, op open questions. That would be kind of an open question round. We reserved one hour to talk about topics that just come up. And after that, we'll order food and all socialize with each other. Uh, there is even somebody here from uh, Brussels who will celebrate her birthday here today. Or something like that. Uh, and yeah, it would be nice if you hang around and give, uh, use the possibility to talk about to all of these people about this event and come up with crazy and awesome ideas what we can do um, because usually that happens when you're having a beer in your hand and talking larger round groups around the fire. So that would be a plan. So we'll start first with uh, team build up and takedown. Uh, yeah. Hooray! Uh, um, so the good news is um, we have now more or less no enough people to do our job. Um, I think we can bump our status from the very very red that it used to be at the start of this meeting to yellow. We can still use more people, especially people experienced with uh, better. Okay. Angle. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, we could still use one or two more people um, who have experience building stuff during the uh, build-up and tear down and breaking them down at the tear down. But uh, we are no longer a critical state in that regard. Um, the other thing, um, we have a budget of about six days for build-up and three days for tear down according to the current plans. If the um, in on-site infrastructure is as good as I think it is, um, that should be a f uh, possible schedule which we can meet. It will be tight and it will be a lot of hard work and well co good coordination, but it should be doable. 
Okay, that's basically it. Thank you, Val. Does anyone have questions for the team uh, build up and take down? While I change the color to yellow here. Next team, by the way, would be team infrastructure. Uh, where so far we have the situation that we basically have Timo as team lead for the power part. Um, depending on the progress on the location, we uh, might be even good with that. But do you want to give an update? Yeah, so the uh, team infrastructure would uh, consist of uh, a power team, uh, a tent team and a uh, sanitation team. Um, depending on how the terrain is uh, shaping up uh, by the time we're there, it, uh, it might be that sanitation, for example, is not so necessary because there's a lot of sanitation already there. Uh, the power still needs uh, quite a bit of work, which I will be responsible for. And uh, the tent team is not decided yet, as far as I know. So, uh, as regards the power team, I still need five to six people in my team because I currently only have two. Um, uh, so, if you know about power infrastructure or you know someone who can do this sort of work, then please direct them to me because um, um, we we will definitely need uh, more people on the team. Uh, what exactly needs to be done uh, in the build-up and uh, during the event, we don't not really know yet because I haven't seen the terrain and I haven't seen what sort of power infrastructure is there and how we could maybe use that or not. So, um, yeah, short of the story, more people for power, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, well, speaking for myself, that for the power team, that would definitely be throughout the whole build-up, from the start, the end of the build-up, and during the event, uh, partially as well. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, not so much. The preparation is actually not uh, not that much work. Uh, it is the it is the actual build up. I mean, preparation is uh, is just uh, making some drawings and uh, and phoning the rental companies. Uh, um, uh, I can do that easily. But it's mostly I need hands on the uh, on the terrain uh, during, especially if we're constricted to six days build up. That's going to be a big race, and um, that means we need more people. Because if you have a longer period of time, you can do it with less people. But if it has to be a short run of six days, then really need hands. And I think that will go for uh, most of the teams. Okay, so the kind of important open position there is um, the organizing of the big tents. Uh, we might have some rough ideas, but in case anybody wants to do something like this, please talk to us. So next team, Nock, do you want to give an update? Besides, we want to make the fastest internet connection ever on a hacker camp. Okay, so you don't want to be put at the end? I'll put you at the end. And yeah, you were where we expect at least a terabyte of uplink, right? A terabit of uplink. When you can't read it yourself. Press team. Hi. So in press team, or we changed the name to communication because that's how we started and that's why to not get confused with other teams. So I would like to keep it in this way. And we got one and a half more people, but we need more people. So it's welcome. And we updated the wiki, so you can see there, you can join to the <coughs> IRC channel of our mailing list for communication. We have a lot of uh, overlap with uh, Infodesk, so we're going to work together really closely. So that's it, I guess. Questions? <laughs> Five and a half, six. What else?
I think now we have planning mostly and then when the information comes in then we can channeling out. So I think it's in the last year when we have more of an active rule in this game. Logistics. Who of you? Jurt. Do you need uh, the connector to the slides? Just short loads. Newspaper. Um, so, logistics. We are currently uh, nine people because today uh, we had some uh, uh, surprise from Nick. Where is he? Nick? No idea. Oh, there. So, uh, Nick, thank you for joining us. Uh, Nick has decided to become a sub team lead of the offsite sub team, which is in charge of moving stuff to and from the terrain. Um, we discussed how to get more people, um, decided that we might have a more pressing issue in that we already have quite a few people, as in we are nine now, but today only four were present. Um, also, we have some people in mind that we want to ask specifically for our team, and we do have some positions, so if you're teamless, uh, well, you know, there are a lot of teams to choose from. Um, we discussed some questions we got from uh, Sanity and other people about what we were going to do. Um, one of them is, do we want to do traffic and uh, parking? The answer is no, we're not going to do this. Um, specifically because we think that uh, managing a flow of people is so much different than managing a flow of goods that we think it, it would be more fitting for a team that handles departures and arrivals than doing this in logistics. Um, and as an extension from of this, um, we could perhaps decide at some point to move shuttles over to another team as well, because shuttles also have to do with managing a flow of people and not a flow of goods. Uh, the other question we got from uh, Sanity was, will we have a post office for uh, uh, villages. Um, yes, we might as well because it's not a lot of work and we already have almost everything we need for that. Um, so villages can have stuff delivered to the terrain and then pick it up at our po post office, which will make a uh, few things easier for villages, especially given the short build-up. Um, we discussed what has to be done the next few months. The answer is not a lot, for our team at least. Um, and there was one other thing that I can't find. Um, yeah, well, those answers uh, I can't give you right now. At this moment, we don't need a lot of volunteers. We can use people, but we have the most important bases covered. So uh, we are bootstrapped, we can actually do the event with the people we have now. It would be nice to have more people because it's a lot of work that we have to do. Um, but at this point it's not an issue if nobody would show up uh, extra. Um, so we are in a very luxurious uh, position. Um, during the event of course we will need a lot of volunteers, but we have a team of volunteers for that. So that uh, will probably just work. So that's it. Thank you, Val. Team Bar as the next. We had a Team Bar. Yay! Awesome. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, from Team Bar, we can say that um, the core team has been established. Uh, so, four people uh, Alex, uh, me, Wilco, um, Frank, and Andre. Uh, we are holding regular meetings already now, uh, in which uh, a lot of questions are still unanswered. Um, but what we are planning to do is um, make a, a, a project planning for ourselves and um, make notes where we need to contact other teams, what questions we have for them, and um, we will later on be in touch with uh, the different teams from which we will uh, need a, uh, 
uh, assistance. And then we uh, will go from that. Because uh, last time, uh, last event, we saw that um, that was something we would could improve. Uh, a lot of questions uh, are also unanswered because of, um, yeah, we don't know a lot about how the terrain will be uh, divided into sections, uh, where tents will be, uh, where um, the camping ground will be. Uh, so uh, that depends a bit on the um, uh, how the bar will be constructed. But at least uh, we will uh, we can say that we have will have a lounge again. We will have a main bar again, and we will have uh, a, medi a media cafe uh, cafe again. And uh, that's about it. So um, for and uh, yeah, about food court, uh, we can say that we're looking into that. Uh, we're looking into um, hiring. Um, from one contractor actually and uh, look uh, into uh, that that contractor can um, apply for subcontractors to do actually the food. I see a question. Sorry? Um, well, I'm not actually sure about that. We have to further investigate, but um, what I know from last time is that it was a really um, uh, arranged on a short notice basis. So um, we have to look into it. No? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so then uh, we need to look into that anyway. Yeah, yeah, um, we we will actually, um, and it uh, we realize that's very important. Uh, the bar did run okay, and uh, the food well. Um, there were some improvements which could be done. <laughs> Okay, Imp um, actually we have a, a list uh, of uh, lessons learned from, uh, from the last event, so we will be looking into that, but also from a bar perspective, which I was more involved than with, the f with, uh, with food. Um, but that's what I can say about food right now. Um, about uh, volunteering, uh, I can say uh, that right now we're good. Uh, we can manage with the uh, uh, four to five people we have right now. But uh, during build-up, uh, we will be needing more people. And uh, during the event, of course, uh, we will be, uh, be uh, needing a lot of people which can uh, give us a hand behind the bar. Uh, that's about it for now. Uh, we will uh, be uh, in touch uh, with more information later on. Is there any more questions? Yes, there are. Yeah, we're, we're looking at what the best possibilities are uh, for that. Uh, we're not quite certain yet. And it, uh, it also depends a bit on uh, the amount of people we have to cater for. So will it be 2,500, will it be 5,000?
Yeah, I get your point. Uh, we have talked on the what we call Char Day on the CCC camp about that, and actually all of the team feedback that has been given has actually been typed down and spread into the teams. We decided at some point to look into uh, what things went wrong the last times, but primarily try to focus on the things we're going to make wrong, we want to make right this time. So uh, there is some lessons learned, and especially I think some people will agree that there is some lessons that have to be learned when it comes to the food. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think we are pretty good, but we also decided to not spend too much time in looking at the historic things again because we have actually done this three or four times and usually it ends qu pretty quickly in bike shedding of details and everybody has some other thoughts and it's like three years gone now, so the memories might also be not in the best condition. Um, I think it's fine for everybody to write these things up and uh, send it to Sanity if you have some thoughts that some of the feedback is uh, not looked over to, feel free, like that's for everybody to just send us the feedback. Uh, the feedback itself is publicly available, like there is a pad with all of the feedback that is thousands of lines long of feedback of all of the people, every single line, nothing was dropped, even the insane things like not enough aliens. Um, so. But yeah. Sorry, I didn't, didn't fully hear your question. Would that be John? John, it was my talk there. Yeah. Um, will there be mate? Uh, well, two. Jolt. Jolt. Oh, okay. Um, we're not certain yet. Uh, We'll see. Will there be chunk? Yes, I think there will be chunk. Otherwise, we'll have to explain them how to do it, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, Bug Blue comes and explains that to you. Yeah, there, there could be a license, uh, license problem with Strong Liquor, but yeah, we'll look into it, what we can arrange and uh, what can be done. That also has to do with the permit uh, in, uh, in the end, the global permit for the event. Any more questions for uh, Bar? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, the food for the volunteers and all of that is kind of topic of the volunteering team. They have at least partly looked in there. Bug Blue has some contacts with the contractor, as far as I thought, like the contractor that we were talking about. One of the things he, if I remember that correctly, that he put in there in the discussion was that he also has to supply food for the volunteers. He agrees to that. So uh, then means that for build up and take down, there will be food. But we'll. Keep an eye on that. That that is that is a very critical thing. Like not being able to feed your volunteers is uh, not good. Walter. Yes. Uh, I would. I would. Uh, can we please write down these questions for the later part? Because I think that's a longer discussion. I would really like to have this discussion. Like I do have my personal opinion on that, but I would like to take it out of the discussions of the like what the teams are giving the feedback. What we because at the moment we are like half through with the teams, but that is a really good discussion. I would actually like to have. It's for example, we need to finish with the teams and then we can talk about that. Like I would really actually also talk about that. Any more questions? Yes. That wouldn't be precisely the question for the team bar, I assume. Um, there is some villages nearby that are in bicycle distance, but uh, I, I think uh, Apple Dawn is roughly 30 kilometers, 25 kilometers ish. So, yes, for the Netherlands, a very, very long distance. We all feel bad for you.
I'd hope so. But uh, I think that for me would be a question that we can put in there. I would always like to have uh, like a weak market, like the farmer's market for the villages and things like that. Um, I have it somewhere on my list, but I don't think we have a team for that yet or project or however we're going to name it. Okay, then let's talk about that after that. Yes. Uh, so, any more questions regarding bar? DJ, do you want to add something for the launch part? At the moment, I'm um, alone in the launch team, which is not so bad because uh, the most uh, hacker events, the launch is done by external. I mean, the artists are external, the people who do sound and stuff are external. Uh, still, because I live in Germany, it would be nice having someone from here, you know, also who speaks this language, maybe also to help me, uh, you know, if it comes to some legal questions and stuff like this. So it would be really nice if uh, like one or two persons would uh, like to join the launch team. And we, of course, will have the best lineup and best light show ever. <laughs> Guy, do you want to say something to volunteering? Yeah, as nobody showed up for volunteering, I decided to not do anything specifically regarding volunteering, but went to the InfoDesk team, talked to those guys, which was nice. If one of you feels the urgency to talk about volunteering stuff, I'm here. I will be here till tomorrow, so please contact me. I will gladly answer any questions I'm able to. And yeah, um, one message from the volunteering team maybe. Um, some of you we had here said we need a lot of people. For now that is okay, but later we will need details. So how many people do you need when? And do they need some special qualifications like a driver's license? Or be sober? Or... Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> So um, it goes down to a level of the uh, uh, team volunteering, I'm not certain, some five to ten. Yeah. But yeah, uh, volunteering is n right now only about organizing stuff, which is not too urgent because the event is quite in the future. But on event, yeah, depending on the size, at least 500 people, I guess, will volunteer and that's something you have to coordinate. And yeah, having 500 volunteers and having demand for 500 volunteers does not solve your problems. You have to attribute the, the people to the work. And therefore you need information like, I need four people at the same time, I need them in four hour shifts or in two hour shifts or maybe one hour shifts. It may be that vo team volunteering will tell you that's not possible that way because whatever reason, then you have a discussion. We always find solutions, that's not a problem, but you need to know in advance. And being in outside in the sun for six hours simply doesn't work. There's nothing you do about it. So please think in detail of your demands. Yeah, any questions? Okay, thank you, Val. Uh, short interrupt here, uh, the boat people outside want to move their boat and there is potentially some cars who are standing in the way, we are getting the numbers, but if you know that your car is standing directly in front of the church and might block the way, it possibly needs to be moved. So, product your house. So, first a car with the Dutch number.
can I have a, uh, okay. Well, I'll manage. You want, yeah, but your product, yeah. Your exactly. <laughs> Wow. Let's see if this works. <laughs> okay, um, let's do it without a presentation. Um, so we're all... Uh, Team Production House, this is our production. Um, this was arranged in the last uh, yesterday evening or so. Um, we're with uh, 10 people right now uh, for this state of the uh, organization. That's enough for us. Um, so uh, what do we do? Uh, streaming, we do AV, uh, we do the stage, we do radio, and we make sure that everything is recorded, streamed, and saved for later. We do have a few questions uh, in general. Uh, heralds, which team are they? Uh, and we need some people to uh, take care of uh, frequency management and license management for various reasons. Um, we do have a budget. Well, we don't have a budget. Um, we have an idea for a budget. Um, we plan on uh, extending uh, what uh, CCC is using for their camps and their uh, events. Um, uh, that means that we have quite a lot of uh, infra already in place, but we need to extend it based on how many uh, tracks there will be and how much other cool ideas we have. Um, so far it looks like we'll, we need to double what uh, CCC already has available as on infra for uh, recording and uh, streaming the event. Um, some of the stuff will be rented because we only need it for uh, big events, like beamers who can project 100 meters far or whatever. But uh, there will also be mics and stuff like that that we in try and intend to use to make available to the community in this country when necessary and where possible. Um, we, at the moment, need help with uh, stage. People have experience with stage and lightning to start planning that. Um, and at the event, we need lots of volunteers for possibly heralds, uh, camera operators, lighting operators, AV mixers at each track, monitoring of the streams, 12 hours a day probably. And we need to train people because we have lots of technical stuff that needs to be arranged. And people need to know how to uh, record these events. So that's quick what we have. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, for stage and lightning, lighting, I, I keep, yeah, yeah, uh, I think we do, um, estimate, I, I think we do, yeah. Okay, cool, thanks. So, um, don't break your laptop. Team Dekorazzi. Uh, basically, as Team Decoration, we are slightly ahead of schedule. At the moment we have two physical areas to which we can work and store our, the things that we are making. Um, currently, basically, the entire team is just team leads, which is helpful, but we also need people that just want to design stuff and um, actually make it. Um, so basically, what we're now we're looking for are people that want to um, design and build really big items such as street lighting or um, a gate or whatever. Um, 
basically uh, the main part we are currently waiting for is uh, the design which is part of the, the competition that will be announced later today <laughs> yay <laughs> Uh, so basically, as team design, we are currently on schedule, I would guess. Um, although we are have, have constant need for people that want to design, and starting early next year, we also need people that can just build stuff. Because then we'll have basic designs, we need to build stacks of signs and st that sort of stuff. Because we want to have, uh, because we probably have a short build-up period, we want to have everything done in advance. Mm -hmm. yep. In the microphone, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, I already said that, so I think we're done. <laughs> Five uh, people. We, 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 uh, we have one honking big dependency, and that is the actual design. We cannot pr practically do anything until we have a design. There's one thing we can do, which we are currently planning, which is a field trip to Berlin to uh, make an inventory of the interesting stuff in CCC storage. So that's basically what we're planning now, and that's all we can do until there is a design. I repeat, a design. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> Um, then we will ha probably uh, um, ask uh, Team Sanity to increase our budget so we can hire a designer. Because we need a design and we need a uh, dedicated designer for that. Probably multiple. Question. One, two questions. That is a question that I kind of um, said that I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having the microphone in the moment. That actually asked for the motto, which directly goes back to what does SHA actually stand for? And that might be a point for later. You see in the direction of the audience that uh, we have talked about this a lot of times. So, Dem Lai. For design, uh, we'll, as they just already said, there will be a design competition. Uh, we'll go and announce kind of the more or less details of the design competition after that. There will be something like that. I th I th I we will get to that. I think you w when we introduce the design content, that will answer a lot of those questions. Okay. Awesome. Team content. Hi, I'm Walter. Um, we're still looking for a team leader. Preferably someone without opinions of him or herself and a tendency to hurt cats. Uh, which will be really nice because we discussed a bunch of things and among others we would like to have a call for participation around August. And that's fairly close by as a uh, milestone goes. Um, we're roughly nine people now. Um, had a bunch of discussions that also might have impact on FRAP. Are there any people from, from maintaining FRAP around, by the way? Because, okay, one, one of the things that people are interested in having a anonymous submitting process, maybe anonymous reviewing process, uh, which might be nice to have. Um, 
and mostly there were four new people joining the team or at least interested in the team and we discussed a lot about how things went at OHM which is probably less relevant for the plenary right now so yeah okay we'll get back to that anyway um questions And, oh, by the way, if my memory serves me correctly, we actually had about 15 people in team content at OHM. So there's still room for other people, but preferably someone who wants to lead the bloody thing. So. Okay, the question is the number of tracks and the number of tents that has come up. But I think that's one of those many dependencies we have with other teams. Um, in the discussions before today, uh, the feeling at that stage was with Arjan and Jos and, and myself and Jeroen that it's not really our decision to take. It's more an infrastructure decision and that content should actually more or less follow that. Um, one of the other things is most people in the past discussions we're quite happy with federating the content of the villages like we did at OHM. That was kind of out of necessity because of mistakes we made before. But that's one of the things in terms of lessons learned that we are quite happy about uh, at OHM. So, any other questions? Okay, the question is, do, do we plan for a uh, monolithic content team or having track content teams. Um, I'm not ruling out that, that a split up for tracks might happen in the future. In the past, this always went organically. And one of the things that actually has been discussed with outside people in, in the past weeks is we may have an academic village for having summer schools in there, and that will be curated by people from academia. But that will be kind of an example of a federated content model in which villages having their own content, having it included in the main program, etc. But um, as far as I do know, in the past Benelux camps, we never had a meta content team with track content teams. It was more in organic fashion. Okay. Any other questions? Oh. Okay, questions uh, team content doing the schedule. Um, I suppose we will be doing the schedule and that's one of the lessons learned from OHM. We should really take care of the impact that has the scheduling and especially rescheduling on other teams. Um, question is whether we want to find out what SHA stands for. I think we want to have a theme. That is Thing, that was the feeling I got from this group that it might be good to have an idea about a theme to find to get to some consensus in within team content. I don't give actually personally, my personal opinion is I'd rather not do the SHA discussion. Seriously, sort of. Next, okay, thank you. Well, any further questions? Uh, Infodesk. Do you want to uh, give a view on what is the situation at the moment? Thank you. Hi, my name is Dwizzy. Uh, for our team, uh, we had a fruitful uh, discussion now, uh, thanks to uh, the help of uh, Guide, and uh, we have Ganeshka there. Uh, so our team is already forming, but we really would like uh, some people to join our team. And I'll give you an idea of what uh, we're going to do in the next year uh, towards uh, um, uh, the festival. Uh, we're looking for about, uh, say, 15 hour, uh, 50 hours a month of already answering questions from people about uh, the festival and building up our uh, own list of questions people may or may not have yet asked and basically be a pain in the ass, sorry, being attentive to all other teams uh, to give us the answers to those questions. So for instance, uh, we can uh, come up with questions like, 
uh, what kind of villages uh, can we make and uh, what villages are there already? But the answers will come from team villages. Uh, so we'll uh, uh, be visiting each team with the questions we already think of and hopefully get the answers uh, you can think of and the questions you already uh, thought of uh, and put them in the wiki so people can look the answers up themselves and also uh, put them into uh, some kind of knowledge base so we can answer emails uh, and whatnot that comes in. Uh, as Melissa already said, uh, we also uh, will be working closely with uh, the communications team on uh, bringing uh, messages out to the world, so pushing uh, messages um, to the visitors and I assume uh, we'll be working closely uh, with Sanity on uh, what can already be announced and what not. Uh, so, so that will be uh, 50 hours a month or so. Uh, I'll leave it up to uh, the teams because I want to give people specific tasks so they don't have to worry about things if they don't want to. Uh, anywhere from five uh, to perhaps eight people already working on uh, the festival in the this year, and then uh, as uh, the festival nears, uh, we would like to have more people. But for now, uh, any help is welcome from uh, eight hours a month to uh, five days a month, uh, and we'll see how, uh, how fast we fill our, uh, our team. So, any questions? Uh, the team right now, uh, well, two for sure. Uh, three people lingering. Um, well, actually, yeah, uh, let's just put, put it at two, and uh, I'm hoping we'll have six. Yeah. Okay, I would like to call for Team Villages then. Hello. Um, I am the only oh God, this cameras. Um, the only uh, uh, member of Team Village at the moment. Uh, we did have a good conversation with the CCC uh, uh, people on inform getting information on how they organize things. So that was fruitful. Um, but we really do need two or three more people. We want maximum five or so. But um, yeah, it's a bit lonely in Team Villages. <laughs> so um, yeah, at so at the moment we need about up to five, and then during the event itself we'll need uh, we'll need more people as well. But that's later. Any questions? Could you repeat that? Uh, they get a wiki page. Um, if that answers your question. So the, yeah, the, they can already set up a wiki page, but this will need to be uh, more uh, integrated with the semantic wiki media uh, wiki setup, so they can answer questions and whatnot. So. Um, that has not been answered yet. Um, that I guess in previous events this has been happened. Um, Okay, uh, that would be good information to know. What most likely I hear next to me. Uh, that's also up to logistics, I guess, uh, if that can be organized or not. The question was whether uh, villages can get tents via the organization. So if you can, if you want, as a village, you want to rent a tent, you can do this via the organization or if you have to do it yourself. So it, it's quite likely, but it depends if we can have, if logistics can organize this, or if there will be a tense team, basically. I guess that's a requirement. I would like to avoid to say yes, definitely, but uh, my feeling would be going in this direction. So we don't have anything there yet, but I do see the urgent need for that. So we might come up with something um, where this would possibly be shared with the team infrastructure who kind of buys in the tents. 
and the dream vol um, um, villages that is the in the communication role to uh, kind of channel all the needs and the feedback from the uh, different villages into all the different kinds of the orga as there will be lots of different things that the villagers want. Yay. All right. Um, stay in touch. Although, like, Team Villages will not be buying tents, but if there will be uh, people who want to organize, we will work closely together with them. That's good. Sweet. All right. More questions? No more questions. Uh, one or two is what we currently have, it seems. Now, there's a lost contact with the other. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, I saw, saw on the mailing list, but not, uh, okay, that, that's one more person, that will be good, yeah. So we have four more teams being uh, ticket and entrance. That were the three teams that didn't exist at the beginning of this. Uh, ticket and entrance. Um, sa do we have anybody who wants to report something for that? Uh, safety and security and family village. Do you want to say, have you picked one yet? So those are the teams we don't really ex have at the moment. Tickets and entrance, we have the promise from some people from the CCC to help there. The software exists, the uh, kind of the online settlement, there is a new software to sell tickets. There is a cash register system, all the infrastructure is in boxes that just needs in flight cases that needs basically to be unpacked. That I was promised that this is available, uh, but we don't have a team there yet. Safety and security potentially is a team that we will need pretty soon because we will have the permission issue really soon as we are now getting in the real proper uh, talks with the Gemeinde. And Family Village is again a point where I would especially like to see people that have children. The permit part for the terrain is something I'm taking upon myself with, I forgot your name, I'm sorry, <laughs> Jeroen, and uh, other Jeroen, yeah, so uh, yeah, two Jeroens, and maybe Attila, but I have to ask him before, so if you're watching. <laughs> okay, and for Family Village, we have, uh, we have one candidate that either might want to like, do first aid or family. Um, but yeah, if there are further people in here, and, or if you know any people who are the one or the other, like certified, certified first aid people, or parents that really would like to organize the family village, um, please send them in our direction. Okay. Uh, yeah, Project Lighting didn't really have a meeting because we were busy visiting all the other meetings and guiding people in some directions. Um, if there is any questions regarding Project Lighting, I'm pretty open for any. Okay, then I think we'll come to the next points. Um, we've given the feedback of the teams. Does anyone have... We have not given knock. yes. How much... How long Do you have a presentation? Okay. Okay, it's just a quick update um, from the NOC team for Shadow 2017. 
Um, most of you already know um, what we do. So we do the on-site uh, network infrastructure. That is, we do fiber, IP, and Ethernet. We will arrange a uh, internet uplink to the site, and we will uh, deliver you the fastest unfiltered uh, connection possible, wired or wireless. And uh, so, if you have network requirements for uh, from your team, please talk to us. We have a couple of sub teams that are in this slide here. I'm not going to go into de details about this. Um, Updates. Um, there's not much going on yet. Um, we're, um, for now, we need to uh, go and arrange an uplink, but that depends uh, a lot on the final location. Uh, if it's going to be, say, Walde, we're uh, looking pretty good because, um, say, Walde location already has a fiber uplink, um, and that is a uh, connection from Eurofiber, and we're um, aiming to get a uh, fiber connection to NICHAF and then get our internet connection from there. And it's going to be at, at least 10 gigabits. And we, well, if we can do more, we're going to do more. Um, later on, in um, I think around January, uh, we're going to work on an uh, initial um, network design. But that depends also on the location and on the location layout. So where all the uh, fields will be and where all the track tents will be. And once that information is more final, we can start planning on where we want to put cables and that kind of stuff. Uh, if it's going to be, say, Walde, then uh, that looks also very good for us because they actually have already quite a lot of fibers uh, on the terrain itself. So we don't need to pull that, money, that much cables as on previous events. Um, once we have an initial design, uh, we can um, start answering questions from um, of, uh, requirements from other teams that we can confirm that we can actually deliver on your uh, requirements. Um, yeah, if you want to join our team, uh, get in touch with us. Um, uh, our team is also involved with other hacker uh, events uh, like uh, electromagnetic field in 2016, uh, uh, in this summer, and we're also involved with the Congress. So uh, before SHA happens, we still are doing EMF and 33C3. Uh, questions? Um, so right now, uh, we're about five people, uh, but we have a lot of, uh, sort of say, usual suspects. Uh, and uh, usually, uh, in this kind of events, our, our team is about 30 people. And uh, I think at last Congress, we had about 40 people, I think. But we're probably going to aim for like uh, 30 people that are going to be in our team. And that's going to be a lot of the same people from previous events and hopefully some new people. Okay, thank you well. Is there any more questions regarding the whole team discussion? Sorry? August, at the moment, the best point is like we have found an ideal date that we would like to have in, I think, the week after DEF CON. Uh, as long as we haven't signed the contract, that's like the first week in August. As long as we haven't signed the contract, I wouldn't like give a very defined 100% day, uh, but we are aiming for the first week in August. Or the first 10 days in August. I don't know what that precisely is. But I think it even says in the wiki. OK. Uh, any more questions about the teams? Teams? OK. Total number is 65.5 teams on people on the teams in total.
So, it was mentioned by Team De Carazzi, um that we actually would like to have a design competition. Design has in history in the Dutch camps and also the other camps been kind of a challenging thing. Uh, I think uh, one lesson that ha a lot of people have learned is that design doesn't necessarily work in a democracy. So we would like to call for a design competition where we will basically ask for the chance to be able to elect our own design dictator. Um, we came up with some things that you can partly see over there. Uh, so, the proceeding will be kind of the following. We will give you a list of things that we expect you to do AKA, this is an outline of uh, the work that is coming for you. So, it depends on this list, we hope that the people going for the design contest will submit an idea that makes us want that team if you get the idea like you're the design team you want to win this competition what you actually really do to do the competition is up to you like if you just want to make the logo if you want to make the logo uh, fonts colors design elements or even uh, even more finalized design uh, we want from with a call for design we want uh, from potential design teams the an idea what their design idea would be. We've come up with quite a lot of things and uh, maybe we have some more things to add in this meeting. So I'll just would go over that. Uh, the design team needs to basically do the logo and a lot of other things. So set of de design element for Decorazzi and other teams. Usually design can be falling apart or some parts of that can be used for other things. We would like to have a file with which can be passed on to other teams to allow them to include the design in their own team. Um, and it would be nice if that design team would even help those people. Uh, we will need what we'd call pre-event marketing articles. That is things like posters, that is things like stickers, that is um, an info book we can send to all of the hackerspaces that describes this event. Um, outside of the German, Dutch, and maybe British scene, a lot of the hackerspaces have, or there is quite a lot of hackerspaces who have never been to a hacker event, so might not necessarily have a complete idea what that is. So we might want to send around the small packages to the, all the hackerspaces in here in Europe and maybe elsewhere to, uh, yeah, this is the event. Uh, would you like to come? The design team needs to design the websites. And for that, that means the design, not the content. Um, the websites that falls like the public wiki, the uh, FRAP, which is the talk submission system, um, the angle system, the ticket system, um, and all of the things, the blog, and everything that's kind of public facing uh, website or any other informational site. There's things like uh, clothing, shirtwear, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, somebody brought up the orange vests. Um, on what the 2005, the BSD guys did this gigantic uh, yellow BSD jackets, which helped awesomely in the following rainfall on that event. So as it's an event in the Netherlands, we might want to do raining jackets. Um, but yeah, that's good. Yes, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, that was the information that I actually wanted to have. It's not going to run. Awesome. Okay, the team uh, design needs to help uh, creating a kind of a promo video that we'd like to put on the website. Um, and design templates for uh, bulletins, for announcements, for signs, and for the info desk that when the InfoDesk decides with the leather printer we need a sign that says whatever that it can just be printed. 
Um, and also part with that would be that you as a team design would have to design the Shah handbook and design the proceedings. That is the kind of the academic write down of the academic track, which would be needed for being a proper academic conference. Badge design. I'm very sure that the badge team would like to have some input from the design team as well. Uh, who is here from the badge? You? SA? Anybody else? So I, I heard this question before. People for the badge. Badge is a team and the, some people are over there. If you want to have a discussion later, please do. So what does the design team not do? The design does not make the content for all of the things above. So public wiki is the infrastructure. Uh, is uh, Infodesk and all of the other teams that will fill the things the teams designed with life, with content, with uh, our awesome conference. So, do you have any questions for that idea? And do you think there is something that you would like to add for the things that the design team needs to do? Yes, it's on the pad. Any further questions? Yeah, this will be a team where... Now that we will have a competition for the team, the team that then gets decided as design dictators can then decide how they're going to build up the team. The requirement for that is, this is the things you will have to do as a design team. If you want to like become design team and have an awesome idea, this is what we would expect you to do. Please give us a nice idea what you think the design could look like that we want you. That is the call for that. But the design team itself is like the team that wins in the competition will then be able to decide about other people in the team and all of the stuff. We will be electing a dictator team there. Does it answer your questions? Not at all, right? Oh, uh, there is three candidate teams already. So there is several people who are interested in uh, joining this competition already. Uh, I, at least for those I talked to, they are aware that they would have to manage their own design team then. I like your idea, but that might be complicated. But I like your idea. We should probably consider that. But that is then a, at least a, I, I'm not even sure if that would be necessarily a team design job then. But the idea itself is good. I would like to talk to the sysadmin people, people about that. What's the time? Deck to slate. Uh, there is a micropoc, um, which is like, as you possibly know, the traditional big POC team will not be available for us. But there is a small team as well. There is a second POC team within the CCC that they call themselves the micropoc. Um, they are showing up here. They have left their home city at 12 and they're coming in an electrical, electrical car, so they need a charging point on the way out here. So they wanted to be here around 60 to 1630s, but they're not here yet. I expect them to be around later for the day. Uh, the summary is we hope there will be, or they will be decked. If this deck is just available to the auger, 
to the orga and the volunteers or to everybody is still up for question. And also the, the uh, question is still about further, um, further features like will there be a phone dial-in number block or whatever services will be there available. So far, uh, they would do uh, DECT and they are talking about GSM. But that would require frequency and as far as I heard, that's rather complicated here. People nodding, yes. But this already jumps off the design stuff. Does anyone have questions for the design part? What do you think of the idea of making a competition and choosing a dictator there? A hackathon. <laughs> if the team wants to, yeah, klar, sure, I'm in for that, but that's for the team to do and decide. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think we'll be happy. Yeah, well, the team has to come up with something that makes us want them. We will have the way of talking back to them. Um, I've two groups of people who really would like to do this uh, and one person that uh, is interested in putting a team for that together. Also, there is some more people on the list that I would like to ask in that um, within the uh, Dutch community if they would be interested in doing that. Um, I'm pretty confident we will have more than one team actually participating in this challenge. So, the original plan said 17 o'clock talking about the teams uh, and open discussion. And after 17 o'clock we will talk about getting food, which is something we should do soon. And uh, we have, especially for the people that came here for a longer distance, um, we would like to go to the site tomorrow and I think we should talk about that. Uh, the site is publicly accessible, so everybody can just walk there anytime. Um, so just to get a rough interest of how many people would be, who of you would be interested if we organize a visit tomorrow on the site to come with us tomorrow to go on the site? Roughly 20 people. Uh, for those of you who would be interested in come, what would be your preferred time? I think the Germans all wanted to not be too late because you need to get back to Germany. Hmm? I, th I would... Uh, 3 p.m. that late on the side. Eleven AM. So at eleven, one hour before like the middle of the day. Anybody for who those who wanted to come, would that be a problem? Okay, if anybody disagrees, uh okay, nobody disagrees, then it's eleven. A meeting on the site at Zevolder, there is a parking place. I can show it out on the Side, so from here you would have to be get around, I think, roughly 10 10 10 15 ish. Mm -mm. Okay, good. Second thing is food. Uh, that's definitely not my topic to handle. Do you want to take that? Oh, wait, there is a question. <laughs> If you have a drone.
There is a drone video on the internet, which differs from the status at the moment that it's a lot greener meanwhile. Uh, if you want to, I can put on the video on the internet to uh, go here in the background, so you get the idea of what we're bringing in you itself while you talk about the food. This video, the video is a video on YouTube that is choose picked in, that is chosen in um, April 2015. Uh, what is different, meanwhile, is that the cabling is in there, the water system is in there, and the sewage system is in there, and the fibers have been digged. It's more or less finished. What's missing, what they still promised us to do, is uh, several buildings. Most important being the toilets and showers. There is like some access points where we have fresh water, wastewater, electricity, and fiber. And they want to build small buildings or to all of those points where they uh, have toilets and showers. Does it answer your question? Yeah, make and share pictures. Like everybody going there tomorrow, put the pictures somewhere where I can double you get them and I will all put it in a big SHA rip, uh, C file. Webmind had a question. Yeah, yeah. Your name? There is a Ah okay. Uh there is an AutoCAD of the site. We haven't laid back a completely 100% uh decision of our layout for the site. Um I've talked with Mum about building a model, like think a railroad model with really where you can place things and push them around for the next meeting which I think would be really awesome. And I hope we would get something like that together that we can really stand around the desk where we have a gigantic model of our campground that we can like put, make paper tents and move them around and shit like that. I think that would be really nice. Anybody who is experienced in there, please talk to me after this. So yeah, uh, from time to time you see small dots on the videos, that's cars. It's actually a pretty nice location, and we can kind of play it over and over again and really want to make this camp there. <laughs> I've seen it uh, like at least 50 times meanwhile. Okay, any more questions about the uh, site visit tomorrow? That's smooth. Okay, there you go with the food. There are two points to discuss after uh, this food question. So how do we arrange food? It's very simple. If you want to stay for dinner, please pitch in 10 euros. We're collecting it right here uh, afterwards. Um, and so two people are going to drive to some restaurant, probably a Chinese restaurant, and rate it with a large selection of what they have to offer. So there will be plenty of food. So Pitch in 10 euros and you're fine. And I'll be here afterwards reminding you of this again. So I would hand the mic to McFly. So um, I think Walter brought up the point of coins where there's cash. Do you have that in memory correct? Who of you has not thought about these questions? Have not thought. So if all of the, nearly all of you have thought about that. Just make a quick opinion call at the beginning. What is your opinion? Like who would prefer cash and who would? Mm. 
And who would prefer plastic money like on the last time? The bar people. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I just wanted to get the information for her. Like, we have to discuss that. Who doesn't give a fuck about this decision? Okay, so we basically have two people who... Yeah, okay. Do you want to have a break? Like we're discussing, but basically one and a half hours straight. Do you, do you just should think we should make a break while organizing the food? Okay, uh, break for half an hour. Okay, what is the time now? At the moment it is 5.08, so it would be nice to see the people back here at 5.30ish. And people that would like to pitch in for food, please get here. Okay, the stream is still going. We are now collecting food and things like that, so uh, we will cut the stream for a bit. <laughs>